In this video, we'll see how to find an angle formed by the hands of a clock. So in this clock, we have to find this angle. So before we find this angle, first of all, we'll see So here we see that this clock is divided into 12 equal intervals, 12 hours. And this whole angle is 360 degree. This whole rotation. And this clock is divided into 12 equal intervals. That means the measure of this angle or any of these angles is 360 degrees divided by 12 that is 30 degrees so from here we notice that the measure of each of these angles is 30 degrees and now we have to find the angle which is formed by this minute hand which is at 12 and the hour hand which is at 4 and we know that this angle is 30, 30, 30, 30. So the angle between these two hands is 120 degrees. 30 degree plus 30 degree plus 30 degree plus 30 degree. We added these four angles which is 120 degree. Oh, let's do one more example. Twelve, six. One, two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven. So let's say we have to find the angle when the time is let's say 4 30 now we know if I divide this path into two parts now I know from here that this angle is 30 degrees now I only have to find this part. Now after 30 minutes the hour hand will be half the way from five from four to five. That means if I extend this ray, this is the midpoint of four and five. So that means this angle is 15 degrees so that means the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand here is 45 degrees let's do just one more example now here we have to find the angle between these two hands and the time is 145 that means the minute hand is at 9 and the hour hand is between 1 and 2 somewhere. Now to find this angle, first of all we'll divide these intervals. Now as we did earlier, each of these angles is 30 degree. That means 30 degree, 30 degree, 30 degree, 30 degree. It means this angle is 120 degrees plus. Now it's always easier to first find the, those angles 
which has the whole intervals and then the remaining angle which is less than the whole interval. Now to find this angle we notice that the hour hand is between 1 and 2. Now we have to figure out exactly what is the position of this hour hand between 1 and 2. Now if we imagine when the time was 1 o'clock that time the hour hand was over here and the minute hand was over here and when the minute hand started moving from 12 to 9 and if I divide the clock into four parts that means the hour hand moved from this point to this point it moved three parts out of those four parts then that means the hour hand also moved three fourth of the way from one to two it is very important to notice when the minute hand moved from 12 to 9 it used these three parts the first part the second part and the third part that means this hour hand also from 1 to this point it moved 3 fourth the way from 1 to 2 that means the angle will be 3 fourth of this whole angle from 1 to 2 so this remaining angle is 3 fourth of 30 degrees so that means 3 by 2 into 15 degrees or I can write it as 45 degree divided by 2 22.5 degrees so this whole angle from the hour hand to minute hand is 120 degrees plus 22.5 degrees which is 142.5 degrees